now I've repaired um, my filter flask and now I'm going to use my Wattman filter 351 which is the equivalent to the Wattman Ashley's number 42 filter so I'm just going to stick that on top of my funnel stick that in like that and stick it down like that and we're good to go and I have my solution cooling down here I'm just going to take it out oops sorry I don't have any gloves now safety first guys I got them back now we're going to get my solution here which has time to cool down and I'm going to pour it into my funnel now it'll take a while to come through now these filters are very good actually so they are as you can see it's coming through nicely there nice clean solution um, the key is when you're starting your filtering first see do I have a lot of junk in here the clean is just to filter through the liquids first and then when you have all the liquids through you can put in through your, your junk then you can wash it through with water the key is not to fill your filter up with uh, the junk first otherwise it'll uh, delay and you'll be there waiting for ages to get a nice clean filter nice clean solution so that's what I do anyway now we're kind of getting there now the camera doesn't really do it justice of uh, how clear that liquid is it's crystal clear anywho I'm getting there anyway I'm just going to wash out the, the trash inside the beaker here now into the filter when I just get down a small bit more the reason why I have a lot of trash in that is because um, it's from a lot of different processes I had, um, you know, uh, fingers or like gold pins in AP, and I was using, uh, I had some uh, gold foils, some ram fingers, and I used a poor man's nitrate, which was soup, sulfuric acid, and um, potassium nitrate is the equivalent to nitric acid. And uh, with sulfuric in your solution, like the normal filters wouldn't work because the sulfuric acid would eat the paper so a lot of that in there so i had to use a, like a fiberglass filter what i did was i got some insulation from the attic which is fiberglass and i made a charm and plug which is just you make you make up a little ball and they shove it down into your funnel and uh into one of the one of these funnels here i'll show you see the way i have a little in the bottom of my funnel you just make a ball of fiberglass and you shove it into your funnel and it's uh, you shove it down in and it's called a charm and plug so i use fiberglass for that because the soup the sulfuric acid doesn't uh, eat the fiberglass so that's why i have a lot of trash left in there so i'm just going to rinse that off now and i'm going to put it into here and then when that's done then we're going to denox the solution with some sulfamic acid now I'll go, I'll go through all that with you now I'm ready to denox this now so this is my sulfamic acid let me take a small bit of it and the key here is it's just to add some until it stops fizzing see it there now the way she's kind of fizzing up there like that key is just to add it slowly whilst that's doing there now 
is any excess nitrates that I would have here in this the sulfamic acid is turning it into a sulfuric acid which will drop any lead that I might have now what I'll do now I'll just give it a I think we have enough there now now and it's going to give this a quick filter before we drop the, the gold now it should filter really quickly now because I have all the heavy uh, heavy solids gone out of it and it's a good clear solution so I should be in a matter of minutes and I have that filter in there now look how clear that liquid is already and she's filtering nice and fast there as well um, while I'm waiting earlier on I done a test for gold I just want to do it again because yesterday was kind of hard to see so I'm going to take a bit of a sample here now and then I'm going to put it into my spoon here like that I'm going to get my stannous chloride here give it a little shake and wait till you see this now see that now that's a good see the way it turned instantly that's a good strong indication of a lot of gold in the uh, solution so it's a nice pregnant solution I have here now okay Now we're ready for the gold drop. That's my solution there. And there's my sodium metabisulfite. And I have a couple of grams mixed into this beaker here. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to pour it straight into here. Okay, here it goes. Now you can see this has to change colour and that's a good indication that everything is okay and my gold is dropping. Put a small bit. Now, what I have to do now, I just have to leave that for a while. But usually, we leave it overnight, and then I'll come back tomorrow, and we'll see how much gold we have. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is 24 hours later, and that's our gold. Now I'm going to decant that and give it a go through the wash cycles, and then we'll wait and see. Hello, peeps. Um, I have my gold powder back inside now. I'm going to rinse this in boiling water. I'll do it six times to clean all the all the impurities out of it. I'll do that about six times. 
and then I'm just going to store it as a powder and I'll uh, re-refine it then at a later date when I have more. Now the washing cycle is completed. I washed it six times and I just have it drying now. See the way I have it on two knives? It's just to keep the beaker off the hot plates and it just dries it evenly. So I have it dry there now. That is my gold and it's dried. So now we're going to weigh it put onto the old lie detector so I'll just turn on my scales and that reads zero 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 and I'll put my piece of paper on and that's reading it's kind of hard to see there it's reading point zero four I'm going to tear that we're back at zero 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 now I'm going to see can I do this with one hand okay and we're weighing at 1.75 there's a small bit more on the beaker but it's not anything to write about so there you go guys 1.7 grams uh, by any means it's not pure it needs to be refined again but uh, as I said it's only like 1.75 obviously I'm going to lose a bit if I refine it again but uh, I'll just store that in, in uh, my little bottle and then when I get a bit more um, I'll refine it and we'll melt a little button out of it but for now guys thanks for watching um, if you liked what you see uh, please subscribe like and share it a waste